Florida State just lost a commitment to the Gators, and now another Florida State commitment is going to take an official visit to Gainesville. You are Locked On Seminoles, your daily podcast on the Florida State Seminoles. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome back into Locked On Seminoles. I am your host, Brian Smith, longtime college football writer and recruiting analyst. Thank you for making this your first listen each and every day. Truly appreciate you stopping in to talk some Noles with me. Today's show is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Locked On College for twenty dollars off your first purchase. So yesterday, Daniel Pierre Lewis decommitted from the Noles. It's something that I had talked about on the show. Just now mentioning it because. Everybody kind of expected it. But before I did the show, I was just kind of scrolling through on X. And lo and behold, a player who I thought was really solid to Florida State is now visiting UF. Byron Lewis, running back at American Heritage, is also going to be in Gainesville this weekend for a big weekend for their recruiting efforts. So let's break this down in two parts. First, Daniel Pierre Lewis, offensive lineman from Waxahachie in South Florida. This is a kid that I was high on. I thought his ranking was underwhelming. He should have been ranked higher. I thought Florida State did a good job, honestly, of scouting him, getting him on campus, and getting a commitment. When he took the visit to UF, obviously that was a concern, and I'd heard this probably isn't going to end well for the Knowles. It didn't yesterday. He's probably going to project as an interior player. Maybe he can play tackle, but most likely interior. However, Byron Lewis is a longtime commitment for Florida State. And to my knowledge, Florida was never really towards the top. It was always Miami or Florida State. From personal conversations with him, from talking to those around the program, from talking to other recruiting scouts, it's not something that I'd ever thought about. So, again, this is something that I just saw on X. If he is really taking a visit, to Florida this weekend, if that comes to fruition, Florida State has more problems than just losing him. But first off, let me be very clear. We're talking about a player that is a four-star recruit by most services. Uh, Right now, to read off the rankings, on three has him as a four-star, 285th player, 21st running back. 247 is the only one that doesn't have him as a four-star. They got him as a three, the 22nd running back. ESPN has him at four-star, 196th player, 11th running back. And rivals four-star, 158th player, and the ninth running back. Obviously a good player. Somebody they have focused on for multiple years to get to come to Tallahassee, to get his commitment. It's one thing to lose him if they had lost him to Miami. That's the closer school, et cetera. I kind of get that. Florida doesn't normally do well at the programs in South Florida like this. That is not a good sign for Florida State. So not only are you going to possibly lose in every down back, he's 200 pounds, 205 pounds, Guy catches the ball really well, very intelligent young man, very competitive. But Byron would be going to your arch rival as well, and one that doesn't normally get those players from that area. That concerns me on multiple fronts. Number one, obviously, that would mean Florida State doesn't have a running back commitment in this class. That's horrific. But at the same time, and more importantly to me, just looking at it from big picture, if Florida is – they're not very good either. I mean, they're better than Florida State right now, but not by a whole lot. If all of a sudden they've got all this recruiting momentum just because they put out some statement about Billy Napier and they're not only able to flip Daniel Pierre Lewis, but they're also able to get Byron on campus. They've got other guys that you're after, like Javion Hilson supposed to be there this weekend. Why is it that Florida is able to do this and Florida State is not able to get something going? I'm not saying they're not getting anybody that they want, like, Gelsey, the the receiver out of Jacksonville, ironically, because Florida State doesn't have a receiver coach right now, is supposedly going to be back on campus this weekend, next, whatever. But outside of him, like, why is Florida beating up on Florida State right now in recruiting? I have followed recruiting for the vast majority of my life. This is one of the more unusual trends that I have seen. So, again, three out of the four major services for Byron have him as a four-star. The only one that does it is 24-7. He's a player they've coveted for a long time, and he's from American Heritage, quite frankly, one of the best high school programs in the country, and not only winning games, but developing top-end talent. They've got kids all over the place, Marvin Jones, et cetera, have come from there. So I'm really interested to see how this plays out. 
because Florida State cannot be in a situation where they're losing kids from their own class and other coveted players to the Gators when Florida sucks too. Like, it's one thing if Georgia got him or something like that, but if Florida got him, that would give me a lot of pause, even more so than I already have about this recruiting operation and where Florida State's going. And for those of you who don't already know, I thought Norvell deserved to be fired for some of the things he's not accomplished this season. So this is just adding more fuel to the fire. It's bizarre to me. So who else, if anyone, from Florida State's class will be there this weekend recruiting changes day to day. This is Wednesday, but I'm very, very concerned about it. This is a trend that Florida State can't really afford to go into. As far as what's next, I don't know. Do you have any backup plan at running back? Is there anybody else you can get on campus that you truly want? I mean, Florida State's got some pretty good young running backs. I mean, that's that's obvious. Cam Davis, Kai Danzi, et cetera. Um, I, I, don't, I don't think that's the biggest problem, but you want at least one back a year because that's a position that gets banged up a lot. Like you need five on your roster, minimum. You need five. But we'll see how that goes. Um, they could take a JUCO kid. Maybe there's a transfer or whatever. But right now, it's again, it's more about who they're losing them to, where they're losing them from. This is a really bad sign that I frankly didn't see coming. If you have an opinion on it, please comment on YouTube. Uh, shout out to Locked Up at LO underscore Seminoles on X or the same thing at FB Scout underscore Florida on X. This is bizarre. Um, the trend is not, not going in the right direction. The next 48 hours are really important. I know Florida State doesn't have a big game, and it doesn't have to just be running back, but they need to get a few more big-name kids to come to campus. I don't know how you do that, but this is trending in a very, very bad direction, um, which I had more good news, but right now that one just caught me off guard, so I wanted to do an emergency recruiting bot. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to this podcast if you have not already. Hit that notification bell and share it. Love to hear your comments. I will talk to you again soon. This has been Brian Smith of Locked On Civils.